Yes, the company's called N-Wave, and we're publicly traded in the Toronto Venture Exchange under ENW and on, in Frankfurt under E4U. And it's a technology company that's developed a new method of drying for food applications and for biological applications. And the focus is to drive very high levels of quality, nutritionally, high activity retention in drugs. And uh, our mission is really to replace the current standard, which is freeze drying, which is very, very expensive. Well, ours is a very unique, it's a patented proprietary method. We call it radiant energy vacuum. So it's a, using a vacuum which brings the atmosphere down in a microwave energy which gives you very fast drying in a very gentle way. So we'd be able to hold very good nutrition and very high activity if it's a drug product. And um, so our real competition is the existing market of the freeze dryers because they are very slow, very expensive. And ours is really revolutionary, faster, much cheaper with better products. So, so that's really our focus. And because of the, the speed and the opportunity with cost saving, we plan to have a royalty. So when somebody buys our technology, they pay us a percentage of the actual products they sell, which is a very dynamic market development business model because you get a very high profit margin that way. So we've established that with the projects to date. And uh, now it's about building different aspects and different customers in the industries. The drying industry is a very, very large industry. Pretty well everywhere you go in the world, you're eating or using products that are getting dried. The market that we identify is about $133 billion. It's focused with things like vaccines and antibodies, uh, other pharmaceutical products, food products like coffees, additives like uh, probiotics, food cultures, proteins, fruits, vegetables, meats. They're all dried and dehydrated in many ways as well as enzymes and other activities like that. So it's a very big, broad market, and uh, we've got different platforms targeting all of these different areas for the drying of, the, of those products. The focus of our technology is that for 50 years, the world has dried these products using freeze drying, and uh, it's a very expensive process. It takes anywhere from sort of 24 you know, hours to three days of processing time. And ours is very, very fast and we get similar results in terms of quality. So it's kind of a revolution. So the first stage for us has been to commercialize the technology and we, we did that last year in the food industry. So we had our first commercial sale for blueberry product. We've got another platform we're working with a big company called Denisco, which is a leader in the market for probiotic materials. And we're partnering with them for their process. And then we've got others in the pharmaceutical industry we're working towards. So next year, we're planning to sell two more machines in the food industry. Uh, we're planning to complete our project with Denisco and then go to a commercial agreement with them. We're also planning on bringing in a partner for the pharmaceutical industry. And then within the food industry, we're working with some very, very large companies to also bring our technology into uh, testing the relationship with those companies. The company had started a bit earlier than that, but I joined the company around 2007, and I built a few companies from early stage through sort of the first hundred million in revenue. And uh, since I started, the three things that we've really focused on is, first of all, we developed our strategy to replace freeze drying as a primary focus of the company. We built three separate platforms, direct food, powder, and then vials for the pharmaceutical industry, and we've established our commercial credentials. We sold an actual machine and are starting to build a market in the food side. Brought in the partnership with Denisco to help us with the powder technology and we're developing good data and other things for the vial technology. So we had a, a really big year last year. We were able to sell the first machine, bring in Denisco as a partner. And uh, this year, you know, we have at least two other large multinational companies that we're looking to build relationships with. So. It's been very, very uh, fast, exciting times over the, the, you know, the last uh, three years. And I mean, we've raised over $10 million to help invest in the technology, which is very important for uh, the company as well. For this year, we want to sell at least two more machines, the NutriRev food machines. We've already established it commercial viability. 
I want at least two new global partnerships with leading companies in the food industry in different areas. We're looking at a pharmaceutical partnership to help us bring our vial technology into the pharmaceutical industry. And I'd like to see us get even closer relationship with building suppliers that can support our infrastructure for building many, many machines, you know, as we build an order book on the sales side so that we can get full global ability to uh, deliver the technology into the market. First thing is I think our technology can re-establish a complete new standard in the industry because it's, it's faster, it's cheaper, it's very, very attractive from a usability standpoint. I think we have a, a commercial platform already that can, we can sell and generate royalties in the food industry. So you've already proven commercial viability in that side. Companies like Denisco, another one, Bioceutica, which is another multinational that we're working with, they've given us a lot of industry credibility. So that's very, very important because they're leaders in their markets and, and it, it reflects well on us. I think the market diversity that we have gives you a lot of protection because it's, we're not relying on one, one dimension. We have many aspects of where we can build the market. So there's a lot of diversity. I think the valuation of our company will continue to build as we build a bigger collaboration. So as big companies associate with us, that'll build valuation, build a stock valuation as well as a forward cash flow. And finally, I think it's a management. I mean, I've done, you know, building of companies from early stage through this sort of first hundred million sort of stage a couple of times. And my team, the scientific team that we have is outstanding. And I think that's, that ultimately is going to be what's going to deliver the technology. Through the commercialization and the partnership with the bigger company, we went from around a 10 million market cap to 60 million market cap. So we had a very, very big, big year. I think as we go to the next stage, we're going to attract even the bigger institutional investors. And I think the valuation will can, you know, have a good chance to continue growing if we you know, deliver on our milestones and our targets. So it's, uh, it's been a good transitional year last year, and now we're trying to build momentum for the future.